Hello! In today's video, I'm going to take you thrifting with me to Goodwill, and at the end of the video, I'll show you my thrift haul. Here we go! I usually start in the dishes at the front of my Goodwill stores, but on this day, I went to the back because this clock caught my eye from the front of the store. It turned out to have bent hands and they were asking, I think it was like $14.99. So it's not something I picked up, but it did catch my eye from the front of the store. I really liked this cranberry picture. If you're not aware, I'm originally from New Jersey and this was all about the New Jersey cranberries and so it really brought back some memories to like cranberry festivals and things that they would host in New Jersey. I loved this watercolor. I think this is Minnehaha Falls in Minneapolis, but I wasn't certain. And in case you're wondering, I was dabbling in online reselling last year, but I have closed my Etsy shop. There's various reasons, but uh, yeah, I've closed that now. So the only reselling I'm doing is at a little booth in Hopkins, Minnesota. And you know, I don't sell large quantities of items from there. So I mostly thrift for myself these days. I just love thrifting and I love vintage and uh, this is my hobby. So that's why I like to go to the thrift stores mainly. So a lot of you get upset because I don't buy a ton of stuff for my reselling, but reselling is not my job. It's just a little something I do on the side because it's fun. So, and yeah, so I'm not selling online anymore and uh, that makes me a happy person. <laughs> I love this baby dish set. I did actually look this up on eBay they only sell for about what they were asking at Goodwill. This whole set, I think it was gonna be about $15. I probably could have gotten about 20 for it. Okay, this reminded me of a very old milk glass vase I picked up. Apparently it's like from the 1800s. I don't know if that's what that was, but that's what it reminded me of. So if any of you are experts in old glass, you can let me know. If you like thrifting and yard sales and seeing how one can use thrift store finds in their home, you have come to the right place. I would love it if you'd hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so YouTube will notify you every time I upload a video. I thought these glasses were really pretty. They're reproductions, but they're made to look like old hobnail glass, and I thought they were quite lovely. This piece was randomly placed with the Tupperware, but I thought it was really cool. I think it's a mid-century piece. It says hand-painted Delph. They wanted $5.99 on it. Uh, that's a lot, <laughs> but I did think it was really cool. So over here, there were pieces to a nativity set. They were all kind of stuck together. I was trying to get one so that I could look at the mark or see if there was a mark and there wasn't a mark, but they look to be hand painted and probably vintage. I just thought they were really cute. I also really like that Dalmatian. Did you just see it laying there? I don't know what that was, but I spotted it when I was editing. This is a piece, I think someone said by Southern Living. I actually have it. And the piece that I have, someone spray painted. I put it out on my porch with geraniums in it. I love it. So it was funny to see it un, unthrift flipped. I literally see these every Goodwill I go into lately. Uh, eventually, I guess I'll buy some. <laughs> I think they'd be nice on a porch with a plant in them. I know what I've said before, but 
this accordion rack, the pegs were all loose and they weren't put in with like regular screws that you could tighten. There were these weird like grommets that weren't really tightenable. If you could see there, it's all loosey goosey. So despite what I've previously said, I did not pick this one up because it just wasn't useful with those loose pegs. This basket was so cute, but it was completely stuck on the shelf. If it had had strawberries on it, I would have worked harder to get it out, but it was the wrong fruit for my kitchen. I thought this little piggy bank was really cute. I was trying to read the mark. I never did get a good look at the mark. It was very uh, blurred out just from the tarnish, but I thought he was super cute. I was thinking about this little deer for my laying down deer collection. These home co deer were cute, but a little big for my collection. I thought this piece was interesting because it was a mama and her puppies, but I couldn't figure out why they were on a seashell. Like, that's a seashell, right? It just, it made no sense to me. It was so strange. I thought this roll top desk was really nice. I was looking at it for our cousin who has expressed that she's looking for one, but it wasn't quite the specifications that she said to me. And I thought this was super sweet. A little love note to someone's mom got left behind on the desk. Okay, I hope you're all doing well. It was a fun trip to the Goodwill. This was the day that Molly and I went to the Goodwill in Apple Valley. I posted a Dollar Tree shopping shop with me and haul. I can link that here. That was on my home and garden channel. And after we went to Dollar Tree, we went to the Goodwill in Apple Valley. And so that's what this trip was. Uh, so I mentioned in the video, I am not selling online anymore. Um, you know, life is really picking up here. It's great. We're so thankful for vaccines and that our cases in Minnesota have really um, <laughs> gone down. They, they think it's because of vaccines and because the weather's getting nice and several different factors driving down those numbers. So we're really thankful for that. But because of that, um, work is getting busier and life is getting busier. Um, the kids have had so many activities recently. And so I've really been evaluating the things that I do and what do I just need to, you know, set aside, what's not bringing me joy. And honestly, selling online is one of those things. It just wasn't for me. It is a lot of work and uh, it's just not something I enjoyed doing. And so that's something that I have just cut out. And so I closed my Etsy shop this week. 
if you click the link in any of my older videos, um, it will just say this page no longer exists because I shut it down. So that's the big update. I am still selling at the Pink Elephant. That is a very, uh, you know, low commitment type of situation. If I find things while I happen to be out and about that I think people at the Pink Elephant might like, I will pick them up and you go and you bring them and you stick them on the shelf and you walk away and it's just a very low time commitment sort of thing. But all of that being said, when you watch my Thrift With Me videos, the things that I pick up might be different than a lot of the big uh, thrifting resellers you might watch on YouTube. Uh, and that's just because I'm not shopping to have a big stockpile. Uh, it's not my source of income. It's something I do very, very, very part time. And so I'm mostly thrifting for myself. Um, and I mentioned that in the video just because, you know, some of you get frustrated with me because I don't buy things that I could flip for a profit. Um, it's just not what I'm looking to do. I mostly just thrift because I love it. I love going out and seeing the vintage items. I don't love shopping retail. There's, you know, I just think thrifting is much more interesting. And so it's just my hobby. Uh, so when I'm out there thrifting, I'm mostly just looking. And if I find some cool things I can use in my house, I will pick them up. Uh, but I'm not looking to just buy everything that I see that might be worth something. It's just not what I'm doing. So all that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and show you my thrift haul. I got a few things and I have not put them in place yet because we've just been so busy. So the first thing that I picked up was this picture. And I mentioned that this totally reminds, well, it is, it says uh, Princeton brand, New Jersey cranberries. So I just thought it, cause it reminded me so much of home. And I am going to, I think, I haven't decorated my kitchen for summer yet, but I told you I'm bringing in like red and white check because of all my strawberry stuff. And I think I'm gonna lean this on the top of, you know, if you've seen any of my home tours, my cabinets have like an open space on the top. So I think I'm gonna lean this as part of the a vignette up on the top of my cabinets for the summer. So that's what that's for. Oh, and it was $3.99, but I always have a 20% off coupon these days because I've been doing a good job of bringing a bag. I bring a bag of donations every time I go and I always have a coupon. So, this was $3.99 with 28% off. Okay, and then I got, oh, I love these. I got these two baskets. Uh, they are a set. This one like fits inside. You can like nest it inside. I think these are gonna go on my shelves up there probably with a plant. They're not gonna be nested. I think I'm gonna keep them apart. Oh my goodness. Okay, now I can't get them apart. Well, anyway, you get the idea. I will get it back out. And I'm going to put a plant. Oh my. Okay, I got it. I'm going to put a plant in this one and then, I don't know, set this one nearby. I just thought they were really cool. They have a little bit of a retro vibe to them. They need to be rinsed off. They're a little dusty. They were probably sitting on someone else's shelf for a long time. But I really like them. And this one was $3 and this one was $4. So for the set, I thought that was really good because they're, you know, a nice set, nice size, can definitely have a plant in them. So that's what that's for. Okay, I picked this little guy up for my, my um, Santa collection. He was 99 cents. He looks like something that someone painted, maybe at a ceramic shop or something. Um, oh, it says made in Japan. Oh, well, oh, interesting, I'm wrong. Handmade in Japan. So he was an import. Uh, I thought he was really cute. It looks like Santa taking a nap. He's tired out from his uh, toy delivery. So that will go into my Santa collection. And the only other thing I got were these two glasses. These are gonna go down to the Pink Elephant. So it's Tom and Jerry. They're like the jelly jar glasses. I guess they had jelly in them initially. And um, yeah, this one's, it's, they're not in the greatest shape. I mean, I'm gonna wash them up. Looks like someone probably put them through the dishwasher. They're not terrible though. And I have had a lot of success selling character glassware. I've sold E.T., uh, Smurf. Um, so I thought, well, 80s glassware seems to be a thing at the Pink Elephant. I'll try them out because they were 20% off of 99 cents, so 80 cents a piece. So, uh, and that's it. So that's what I have for you today. I am gonna go ahead and open one box of friend mail. I think I'm just gonna put it in at the end of um, my videos, you know, just open one box. So I have this one here. It is from Arizona. 
a friend in Arizona. Do I have a first name? Sybil in Arizona. All right, and I did open the box, but I didn't open the things yet. So let's go ahead and see what she sent me. <gasps> oh my gosh, I love this. Holy cow, it's Blue Bonnet Holly Hobby in a figurine. Oh my goodness, that's so cute. I love that. Thank you, Sybil. I love it. It's so cute. Oh my. Oh, it's a box of treasures. What? Wait, there's got to be a card. Did she like collect this stuff? Hold on. Hold the phone. I need to see. I need to figure out the story here. Okay. I read the card. It turns out she is a Holly Hobby collector and she sent me some of her extras. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited. Uh, and she said she's from Iowa. So Sybil, if you're watching this, uh, there are bins in Des Moines and I've heard from my friend Clay Ramage, that they are very good. Oh my gosh, look at this little enamelware cup. That's so cute. Ah, these are adorable. I love these. Aw, start each day in a happy way. Sweet. So sweet. Ooh. Oh, that's so cute. Jottings. Oh my gosh. That sounds like a British word. It's my book of jottings. Jottings. I don't know. Is that British? Any of my British friends? It sounds British. <laughs> okay, this is so cute. It's a little tile. And a lot of times these were like mounted on wood. But I could totally do something with this to make like a coaster that I could use in here, which would be nice. Because I like for some of my stuff to be useful, not just packed away or on a shelf. I think I might do that with that, like make a little coaster. Carefree days make the sweetest memories. Aw, sweet. I have not seen a lot of these things. These are like new to me kind of things. Oh, <laughs> uh, I love this. Ah, it's a calendar and a notebook, but look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, I love this. There's a company that's putting out um, t-shirts now with this on it. Someone sent me a link on Instagram. I'm totally going to have to get myself one. Oh, see? Okay. This is what I was talking about. See how it's mounted in there? Maybe I'll put this one out and use that as a coaster. I could totally do that. But then I could figure out a way to mount this on something to also use as a coaster. So cute. Oh my goodness. I love that. That's what I'm going to do with that. Keep that one out. Sweet. Oh man, these are so cute. My, my collection has grown exponentially. What is this? A magnet. That's adorable. Adorable. Oh, and another one. Oh, that's adorable. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. Is that the same? No, wait, nope. Wait, this one? Oh no, they say the same, but no, they're the same. These are the same. Um, tile. Very cute. Oh my gosh. So those are going to get used as coasters. This one I'll probably have to put little felt, the felt doodads on the bottom so it doesn't scratch up my furniture, but I think that's a good use for those. This. Oh my goodness. That's so cute. It's like a cake server. I've never seen that before. That is adorable. These are so different. You must have collected for a long time, Sybil, because I've never seen a lot of these things. So, okay, and that's all that I have for you today. Thanks for watching my thrift with me and my thrift haul and my little bit of friend mail. And I hope you're having a great week. I hope things are improving wherever you are. And I will see you in my next video. Don't forget to hit uh, the like button and the subscribe button and the little bell so YouTube will notify you when I upload. And I'll see you next time. Bye.